This video is proudly brought to you by the Wildlife Diversity Program of the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. You know, I was so happy when our first eastern bluebirds moved in. After all, we had provided native plants and supplemental food, water, and specifically designed shelter to give them the habitat we knew they'd need to raise a family. But then, things turned ugly. Early every morning, my family awoke to the really distressing sounds of a bluebird trying to bash himself through our bedroom windows. For hours at a time, the bluebird repeatedly struck the window, and as a wildlife biologist, I thought I understood the problem. He was just trying to guard his favorite female bluebird from an interloper, which turns out was only his reflection in our window. But as a wildlife enthusiast, I felt awful. After all, he should have been spending time searching for food, building a nest, and trying to impress his girl with more worthwhile pursuits. So I searched my books and the internet for a solution, and I found one experiment that I could try right away, the fluorescent grid method, also known as the yellow highlighter trick, first explained by well-known ornithologist, author, and illustrator David Sibley. You'll need some materials to clean your windows. I used regular window cleaner and a microfiber cloth, and a highlighter. Most any type of highlighter will work, since nearly all have the pigment that's visible to birds but difficult for humans to see through a window. So, first clean the inside of your window. If you don't, the normal dust on the pane will clog the highlighter. Next, use the yellow highlighter to draw lines on the inside of the window. So David Sibley found that the horizontal lines need to be less than two inches apart, and that the vertical lines should be less than four inches apart. The grid doesn't need to be perfect, but the closer you can keep to those dimensions, the better the method will work. And be sure to reapply every week or two since the fluorescence fades. Most people who try this method report good success, and happily, it seems to have worked for our family, too. I hope it works for you, too, and wish you gentle, quiet mornings. If you'd like to continue to support wildlife management and conservation in the state of Texas, please consider purchasing a horned lizard license plate. The plate costs just $30, and 22 of that goes directly to support on-the-ground conservation projects coordinated through Texas Parks and Wildlife and our partners.